episode 1,096. Mike's Daily Podcast. Did you hear where it said teenagers are addicted to their cell phones? To their phones. All they do is stare at them all day. Did you hear about that? Hey, I... Why are you shouting? What? <laughs> Sorry, I was checking my phone. Welcome to Cafe Anyway. I'm Mike Matthews. That's Haley the Semi. Uh, we're in Podcastro Valleymont. Mike's Daily Podcast. Uh, somewhere in the last place on earth. And that's uh, the songs. We're Mike's Daily Podcast. Singing a song. It goes like this. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> Have you been an un-American? Just you and your idol singing falsetto about leather, leather everywhere. Leather! And not a myth left from the ghetto. Well, 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 you would you carry a razor? In case, just in case of depression? Mike's what the Daily hell is this? Podcast. That's Young Americans by David Bowie. Did you know that he sang that? Sit on your hands on a bus Mike's of survivors. Daily blushing all... Podcast. And all the Afro Sheilas. Yeah. Ain't that close to love? Well, ain't that poster love? Well, ain't that Barbie doll? Her heart's been broken just like you have. I never I feel knew like that. That's subtly racist. You don't like the word Afro Sheilas? I I just feel like in general it's specifically targeting like. Lower Ghetto America. I don't know. Maybe I'm not getting it. Oh, this show's all about Lower uh, Ghetto America. Oh, the song? Or this, sh- or this show? This show. This show, Lower Ghetto America. I just sprayed uh, uh, some kind of slogan on the wall. In the ghetto. What were you doing there? What was that you were doing? In the ghetto. Oh, you were singing in the ghetto. I had no idea. I had never understood what he was singing in that song, David Bowie, Young Americans, mm-hmm. until I was listening to Robert Smith of The Cure singing his version of Young Americans, where he stripped it down to just like three chords, even though the original has more chords, but he kind of just made it like this one thing, and then he's doing the lyrics. Honestly, that's pretty bad. Look, you're just walking. If, um, nice. Uh, it's bad, why? It, honestly, it's pretty bad if you are, are able to understand Robert Smith, but not the original song. Like, you know you don't sing, you don't articulate very well if Robert Smith is a better Well, song. Robert Smith, no. I think Robert Smith, it, well, just like Heaven, I don't understand what he's saying in, in the song all the way. <laughs> He says some things. He says some things, I know. Show me, show me, show me how to do that trick. Like, he's all right at singing. I've been looking so long at these pictures of you. I almost believe that they're real. It's beautiful. It is. The Cure, everybody. The Cure. You, uh, whenever I'm alone with you... You make me feel like I can sing again. (laughs) But I can't. Look who else just walked in. Uh, Haley, we were discussing Justin Timberlake yesterday Mm -hmm. and the the music video to the song called It's Gonna Be Me. But you said it a different way. Well, I said it the way they said it, which is, It's gonna be May. And it is May. It is May. And May the 4th. Be, be with, with you. you. Star Wars Day. It's Star Wars Day! Do you it's get it? Star Wars Day! Do you get it? May the 4th. You get it, guys? It's so funny. Wow. Star- I'm not tired of that. Star Wars is a completely obscure movie no one's ever heard of. Only true geek boys. I wish more people knew about this movie. Wow. If only I could find some people that knew about Star Wars. I wish I could dress up like Princess Leia. Did I say too much? No. 
I think I'd look good with buns on either side of my head. Yeah. But that didn't sound right. Well, you have the... <laughs> I was saying you have the headphones on now, and that's kind of a oh, taste. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. But does she did she have her hair like that in the last movie she did? No. When she's all her age now? No, she had it kind of braided back, similar to how she had it in the uh, episode six, Return of the Jedi. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, after she's no longer in chains. Yes, and out of the. The clutches of Jabba the Hutt. After she murdered Jabba. Yeah. No one remembers. She's the one that killed Jabba. She did. Yeah. She took that chain and strangled him. Till he went, ugh, be so dead. And then, Mr. Abdul died. Very good. You speak Jabba. Ah, 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 ah. I know Jabba language. Really? No. Yeah. That's what I thought. George Lucas looks like Jabba the Hutt now because he's fat. Ooh. That was a burn. Burn. I'm just jealous because he's got loads of money. (laughs) Uh, Well, you're not wrong. What I am is sort of right. I want to say I'm really happy Ted Cruz is out of the race because I got sick of his voice. Hey! Hey everybody, it's Ted Cruz. I loved his voice. You what are did. you talking about? I would rather listen to him rattle on all day about politics and his wife <laughs> and how people should die in a hole. He said that? Then listen to Trump go, it's huge. huge. One more time. I heard a clip of Trump now Now that he knows that he's like in yeah. He's like We're gonna make this a loving country <laughs> We're all gonna love each other And I'm like Okay Can you imagine if he gets in the office And just does everything opposite Of what he was running for the entire time No p- the politician would ever do that I know I was making a political joke humor I get it Back to Oh, you had something else to say. Did I? It's going to be May. That video, that girl that's walking around in the video is Eva Smith. Eva Longoria? No, Eva Smith. You might be asking, Mike, who's Eva Smith? And I'm going to tell you, years ago, Haley, I know you're going to judge me harshly, and I should be judged harshly for this a a fact. Should we have a flashback sound effect here? (laughs) Frank, okay. There we flashback sound effect. My mom, for some odd reason, this is really weird and bizarre. But some mom, and and, and in honor of Mother's Day, we should talk about our moms. Moms do interesting things for us. For my mom, uh, I guess she decided I needed a Maxim subscription. Hmm. Nice. Maxim, for those of you who don't know, is it's got clothed women in it, but they're like scantily clad. Yeah, they're not that clothed. But it's it's not it's not like a tabloid magazine or like a centerfold. Right. It's articles and things of that nature. (laughs) There Eva Smith did what's the word? A photo shoot expo. She was photographed. Kim Smith. Did I say Eva Smith? Wait. I don't even know what her name is now. It's Robert Eva, Smith. It's Robert Smith. Kim Smith was a Christian artist. <laughs> Going back to yesterday in your WOW segment when we talked about WOW. Wow. The, the uh, CDs for Christian listening folk. Yeah. That like the pop star. Who were you mentioning? Well, we talked about Switchfoot. Oh, yeah. We talked about Switchfoot, but the actual song I was thinking of was by the band Delirious. Delirious? And they're pronounced delirious because there's a question mark in their name. Oh, that's clever. So when you say their name, it's like you're asking a question. It's like, hey, do you listen to Delirious? Or one of my favorite bands is Delirious. Which, Which yeah. That, they were ahead of their time because of all the up speak now. When everybody talks now, it's everybody ends with an up thing. At the end of their sentences? Or they were for a couple of years. Like in 2012, everybody was talking with an F speak. It was weird. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know if I did. 
Maybe I did. I don't remember. I can't do it now because I'm all over the place. I don't know what you're talking about. We're all over the place. Okay, a- so <laughs> I went down to the store and I needed to get some milk. So I went into the store and there was the clerk and I said, can I get some milk, please? And this clerk was like, oh, my God, are you serious? Just go get some milk. And I'm like, rude. You expect <laughs> me to go back into the store? That's like the last aisle and get milk? And the clerk's like, yeah, that's kind of what happens at a grocery store. So we need to change this. We need to have people who can get stuff from the store for you. I totally agree. Let's go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast over in Podcaster Valley. That's That was a little upspeak uh, monologue. Yeah. <laughs> It was an upspeak story. And now you can hire people to get stuff for, from the store for you. I think. Was that the moral of the story? That you can hire people to get stuff for you? Uh, the moral of the story is... And the moral of the story is... Wave your hands in the air like you don't care. No, this is the end of the song I know. Oh. It's like a rap song, and the end of it is like, And the moral of the story is... And then like an echoey voice. And the moral of the story is... And then it sort of fades away. You listen to music. I do. Of all kinds. Yep. And that's good to be exposed to music. Oh, what song did I have stuck in my head the last couple days? And I keep forgetting about talking. I forgetting to talk about it. Um, well... Oh, yeah. And I don't want the world to see me. I don't know how that got stuck in my head. Lady Goo Goo Dolls. Lady Goo Goo Dolls. Kaja Goo Goo Dolls. All we need is Radio Goo Goo Dolls. Very good. You referenced Queen. Because that's where Lady Gaga got her name. All we need is Radio Gaga. Radio Goo Goo. That's wonderful. Oh, Benita wanted to say something. It's been into the road, you queen. Hey, y'all. Doing? As a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what. What? Why are y'all talking about bands and stuff I never heard of? You and your generation with your holographic Asian dancing queens and your music that's way too tinny. I like old classic like Bernard Hanger Jennings Nelson. <laughs> Me too. And I smoke pot. Okay, thank you, disgruntled fiddle player. You don't understand, though. Disgruntled fiddle player Haley loves all kinds of music. Haley's turned me on to some bands from eons ago. Mm-hmm. For example, Spirit. You remember when we were talking about how they were getting, or they were suing Led Zeppelin for Stairway to Heaven? And I- oh, yeah. Yeah. Din, 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 yeah, had that same din, yeah. climb in the sun. And look who else is here. Outside now. But with us. Hi, Mark. I'm at the root I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Hi, Haley. I like your shirt. Wow, he just dropped over dead. And now he's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brewmaster. You just died. <laughs> brewmaster, wait, let me kick him. Are you okay, Brewmaster? <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Okay. Hey, so uh, Lady Katie, on Friday we did the uh, holding court with Lady Katie, and she. Oh, I should add that to the intro, a little trumpet, but a little fanfare. She listened to yesterday's show, and she loved it. She was laughing. And she says, uh, I need to meet Haley sometime. When are you going to do that anniversary? Because of my five-year anniversary. Right. I have such a crazy schedule and things of that nature. I can't stuff. tie you down. You can't tie me down. I can't, I can't get you to confirm. And this bird you cannot change. <laughs> See, Leonard Skinner there described for oh, the fire. Oh, Lord, I can't change. Yeah, Skinner. That's good. I like that. Hey, why don't you play some Freebird? That was Freebird. <laughs> Freebird. Come on. 
That was Freebird he was just Come doing. on and take a Freebird. Freebird. Come on and take you by the sir. Yeah, George Come Wallace. Come on and take, take a Freebird. Free <laughs> he said George Wallace. <laughs> you mean that racist guy in 68 who was running for president? <laughs> Governor of Alabama, right? He stood for the people like Trump. <laughs> okay. Oh man, what an interesting. I don't, disgruntled <laughs> fiddle players' political leanings are strange. Wait, now Valentino wanted Roseanne Barr. Yeah. The disgruntled fiddle player wanted pot. Cru what? Rand Cruiser. Rand Cruiser. That's right. But now they're both gone. So that's crazy. Oh gosh! I think all Americans should get a, a, an ice cream cone for having to deal with all these freaking political nutsos for the One past year. Free ice cream cone. That'd be good. All would be forgiven. Redeemable before the election. Well, I am out of information. How far did we go? Oh my God! We didn't get very far today. It's true. How come, how come we just put, sputtered out there? It was action-packed. That's true. The Scrunnel Fiddle Player died. Oh, wait, no. Brewmaster died. Brewmaster died. Yeah. Um, May the 4th, should we remember anything? Any particular Star Wars scene you remembered the most? Like My favorite Star Wars scene is the one where Han Solo is doing the dashing pose... And then Luke comes on, and he's like, I'm Luke! I'm a self-insert of George Lucas! <laughs> and then Darth Vader is like, uh -huh. And then Leia punches someone in the face and makes a witty one-liner. That was good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that scene. I like, you know what my favorite scene is? When they go into hyperspace. <laughs> I love hyperspace. I wish I was in hyperspace. I'm a, I'm in a, I actually am in a hyperspace, aren't I? There is a, yeah. There is a blooper, because apparently they had to do the scene where they were escaping onto the Millennial Falcon from the Death Star a bunch of times. Oh. So there's a blooper of one of the times they were doing it where they're all was, they were all just like exhausted and ready to be done. Uh huh. So like, it's Luke being like, Ben, no! And next to him is, you know, um, Harrison Ford being uh, Han Solo uh -huh. with the gun just going, bang, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I'm, I'm playing with an imaginary gun. Well, I mean, he had the gun, but he had to imagine that it was shooting lasers. Also, apparently Ewan McGregor was horrific to work with because he could not stop making lightsaber noises. <laughs> really? Yes. He kept going pew pew. Or he kept wow, going wow. Wow, 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 wow. And I didn't even realize he was doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did he have the dream job? or? Oh, he didn't realize he was doing it? He didn't realize that he was doing it. And like, George Lucas would have to be like, stop <laughs> the noises. And he continued to do it through all three movies. Ah, uh, does he show up in any of the other ones? Yeah, he's in all three of the prequels. Yeah, but does he show up in, like, the one... Like, the first one they made? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to act like a stupid, I don't know anything, Star Wars guy. Hold on. Oh, wait. So, I'm just not, not painting in broad strokes, but a lot of women, younger women, don't... that Or, or women my age... No, there's some women like my ex-wife did not really know much about Star Wars. Right. That's what I, so she was in her. Uh, she's uh, the, you know about. She was a little bit younger than me. So I'm just saying, which they made fun of on How I Met Your Mother, that of a lot of women don't care for Star Wars because it's like who cares? And they've made fun of it on Big Bang Theory too. That's right, Haley or uh, what's her name, Coco, Quoco? Yeah, Haley Coco. Is it Haley Coco? <laughs> <laughs> That's not her name. It's something else. We'll look it up. Katie Coco Cuoco. Kate. It's Mini Driver. Anyway. All right. <laughs> By the way, Katie could not believe you didn't know 
Return to Me. She's like, how has Haley never seen Return to Me? It, why would I? <laughs> it sounds horrible. <laughs> It's a romantic movie. I'm sure it is. It's romance. And my girlfriend hates romantic movies, so there we go. She does? Yeah. I don't mind them. Does she go, uh, ew? Yeah. <laughs> she says, ew. I'm dead serious. Um, why is it right when I think we're done with the show, it ticks off for another five minutes? I don't know. Anyway, um... Okay, you you finish this off. The oh. thing the oh. thing is, there is a reverse of there's tons of men who don't care for Star Wars either. Well, that's and, I didn't know that. And like, you really can't like pinpoint one gender or the other as the Star Wars fans, because mm-hmm. sure, there's a lot more men in general who know of Star Wars and will talk about Star Wars, uh. but there is a huge female fan base, and most of the vocal majority of men who are like, yeah, I love Star Wars, blah, 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 actually are part of, like, this geek subculture that wants women out of the geek subculture. Wow, wow. So it's pretty harmful to Star War- women Star Wars fans, and that's why you don't even hear about them too much. Oh. Because you have these geek boys who are like, well, if you're a real Star Wars fan, you're going to tell me who Jabba the Hutt's mother's dog sitter was, right? Uh, that was Clyde? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know who that is. But that, that, so... So you have those people, and that's why... That's why there was so much backlash about Rey in the newest Star Wars movie, because a bunch of geek men people were like, oh, she's such a Mary Sue, because she could pick up a lightsaber and instantly know how to fight with it. Uh-huh. And... And actually, like... Because she did have super power. Like, she instantly got the Force, right? Right. She didn't really have to work for it like Luke did. Luke didn't have to work for it. That's the thing. The first time Luke used the Force, mm. he blew up the Death Star. Oh! <laughs> that's that's the thing. Is like... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What about all the stuff on... Was it Tatooine or... What was the planet with with Yoda, where he had to run around with Yoda on his back? Before that. Bef- that's, but, that's, the, that's the third movie, you know? Second. Second, sorry. That's the second movie. Okay, but he does... You're right in the first... Or the first one they made, where he's trying to shoot the thing. First he misses... And then, then he's flying, and he hears Obi Wan say, "Use, Use the, the force, force, Luke." And then he and, does, and he pulls up the Death Star. Okay, I see your point. Um, and he already had, you know, flying training and shooting training uh-huh. back on Tatooine. Um, Tatooine. But this, but this is an entirely different spaceship that he just gets in, flies, and blows up the Death Star. Um, Ray, um, if you watch the way that uh, the way that Ray fights with her. Uh, Lightsaber, mm-hmm. um, it's very sort of telling that she fought with a pole her whole life. Oh. Because back on Jakku, you know, she has that pole and that's her weapon. Oh. And she has all this technical knowledge because that's what she did. She was a scavenger, she rebuilt things. Oh. And there's actually comics that are like, like she has a flight simulator that she rebuilt herself. And that's why she's good at flying is oh, because there's some backstory. About there's there's that. a huge amount of backstory to her, and uh-huh. you, you have all these geek boys going, "Oh, she's a Mary Sue because she usually know how to use the force." Wait, wait, wait what, what's Mary Sue? Oh, sorry, a Mary Sue character is um is a character just made with no flaws. Oh, uh, to just to be there usually some sort of it can be some sort of a self insert character. Luke's kind of a Mary Sue. So, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so, but so like a like a like an instant. Um, these are char- a Mary Sue character. If I ever is, wrote a book, would be that would be every character because I can't write for crap. Undeveloped. Yeah. No flaw. No character flaws. Instantly knows how to do everything. Um, like you, Benita. Really boring character. <laughs> I'm not boring. And Ray is not that. But because you have this geek subculture who hates women within geek things, 
they go, oh, well, we ignore the facts. So we're going to say she's a Mary Sue and say how much we hate her. Because we don't want... A woman I see, movie. okay. And then with the whole Rogue Rogue Squadron movie oh, coming out that that's... has a women lead as well, there's more backlash. And it's they don't hide it very well. Is Tilda Swinton in that one, too? I don't remember. She's going to be in the new Doctor Strange. She's in everything. Hey. The new Doctor Strange is going to Why didn't Chewbacca in the first one they made not get an award at the end? He got Everybody else got medals, and he didn't get one. But he, I know. He says the last line of the movie. I remember that and getting up, and there's popcorn stuck to my feet. But, Benita, you were saying something? Yeah, I'm not a Mary Lou Ellen. I'm a real person. I'm Benita the Rodeo Queen. <laughs> I want to go ride a pony. Y'all want to come? Let's go uh, ride ponies off into the sunset. Clip clop. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.